Cassandra here from ilovekickboxing.com in Toledo. As you know, we're always trying to do different fitness tips and give you different ways to help you lose weight and to ultimately live a much help, healthier and your best life. Um, so one thing I was thinking this morning is, and this helped me when I was trying to lose weight, um, last January I needed to lose about 15 pounds. Um, overall though I've lost about close to 25 but in this year alone, I've done 15. And one thing, for some reason, I've just always been good at it. And when I was talking with some of our instructors, they said, you know, you should tell our members this because it might be helpful for them too. So here you go. So visualization. So last, because we're getting to that time again, last November, December, I was going to, I planned out my whole, whole year. And goal setting, planning, that that's a different, that's a different video. So visualization, I, like last December, I knew I needed to lose weight and I wanted to lose weight because I just wasn't comfortable. I wasn't happy with where I was physically. I knew that I could be better. So what I did was I visualized in my mind what I could look like and what I wanted to look like. And I made it so intense that that's what I visualized every day. So when I started it, I, in December, this is going to sound crazy, I got in front of my mirror and I took off all of my clothes and I looked at myself. I mean, I got the mirrors out. I mean, I was looking. I actually made it so painful looking at myself that I had to change. Something had to be done. And I kept that. I knew what I had looked like. I knew what I looked like at my starting point. I had kept that in my mind. And then I knew where I wanted to go. So if you guys remember, last winter was quite delightful. I mean, pretty much the winter from hell. I mean, we had all those level three days. You know, there was feet of snow in the morning and 6 a.m. just happens to be the time I can work out because all the other times is when I'm in here helping you guys. So even when it was, you know, negative 20 out, we had six feet of snow, I would wake up in the morning no matter how tired I was and I would think in my mind what I wanted to look like. And I would go, you guys know Tina, 6 a.m. Tina, she does a spin class and I would go to her spin class and when I was on that bike, I would imagine what I would actually look like if I was on the beach riding my bike and I would be in a bikini top and how my legs would look and how I would feel and the wind in my hair and the ocean and I know it sounds crazy but I'm like this is what I want and really the thing I wanted was because I love Putin Bay and I love Key West I love being warm I love being in a bathing suit but I didn't love being myself being in a bathing suit in January so I said well by the summer this is what I want to look like and I wanted to have shorts on and I wanted to have a bikini top on. And the thing, the body, we all have a body part that we really want. You know, it could be your, your legs, your upper body. You want it really developed. You want it looking awesome. Mine has always been my abs, my, my midsection. All, you know, that's just something that I was able to get and just something that I've always wanted to work on. So I have my shorts on. I have my little lines going on. And I have my bikini top on. And this is what I had envisioned in my mind. So when I would get home from, say, kickboxing, and it's 8 o'clock at night and I'm hungry, I'm like, no, you get your protein shake, you get your, you know, you get your whatever, my salad or whatever it was that I'm eating, and then get your ass to bed because in the morning you have this image to work on. So every day, every morning, this is what I would imagine. So it didn't matter how cold it was, how snowy it was, how tired I was, how whatever. It didn't matter. This is what I wanted. And I don't have my phone on me. But my profile picture, if you guys are friends with me on Facebook, that's actually what I had envisioned. I didn't actually put that up. That was my own personal vanity, that profile picture. Because in my mind, that's where I saw myself last January. I didn't just lose the weight. You know, there was body fat percentages that went down, all of it. But I had transformed myself into where I was last January into where I wanted to be in the summertime. Now, it wasn't friggin' easy, and we can talk about how I went about that. But I was so thrilled because in October, I finally, I went to Key West again, and I realized standing there, I'm like, oh, my God, I have my shorts on, got my bikini top on. Get the phone out. Get, take a picture of me. This, this is what I had been waiting for. This is what I've been working towards. So I did do a little happy dance, too. So visualization. Now, regardless, if it's about your physical body, if it's about your money, you know, look at your bank account. Take a good hard look at it. You know, your your spouse, your family life. You can visualize anything. I mean, you can create the life of your dreams in your mind. And then from this point to that point, then that's where the work begins. But you should always spend some time every day visualizing where you want to go, what you want to do, what you want to be, 
who you want to become. I mean, that's hope. That's, that's working towards our future. So, all right, I hope this was helpful. So that's your homework for this weekend because it's Thursday. You know, visualize in your mind where you want to be, where you want to go, what you want to do. And then uh, I'll see you back here next week. Thanks.